Minister for Tourism, Investment, Creative Industries, Culture and Information, Honorable Dr. Ernest Hille, and the Parliamentary Secretary, Honorable Gibeon Ferdinand, along with Permanent Secretary in the Ministry, Donna Lynn Fiti, have been meeting with entities under the investment portfolio to chart the way forward for St. Lucia. Friday, 13th August 2021, the team met with Invest St. Lucia to familiarize themselves with the work and processes of the agency. It is really to get an update on the work program of the various agencies, to get a, an understanding of what they've been doing, to also get an understanding of how they see their work program evolving over the next five years. With a new government um, in place, there is a new mandate, there are new visions, there's a new vision, there are ideas that we would want to ensure that the agencies understand our priorities for us and to have that interaction mm -hmm. so they understand where we want to head. Some of the agencies have been very proactive in reading the manifesto and already starting to suggest how they can incorporate the, the premises made in the manifesto within their work program. So I think for us it has been a very productive week. Parliamentary Secretary in the Ministry of Tourism, Investment, Creative Industries, Culture and Information, Honorable Gibeon Ferdinand, indicated that some of the initiatives of Invest St. Lucia are in alignment with the government's vision for the country. We noticed that there is a boost program that is aligned with the idea of the youth economy that the Prime Minister had been very articulate about in our campaign. And um, we were able to get a sense of what is happening in the in Invest in Lucia with other major developments such as the um, land rationalization in the north and south. Um, and I think that gives us an idea of what programs Invest in Lucia has that can help us achieve the objectives that our government has set. Chief Executive Officer of Invest St. Lucia, Roger Cherry, says Invest St. Lucia and the government of St. Lucia have a similar objective, to put St. Lucia and St. Lucians first. One initiative being undertaken by the agency that speaks to this vision is land rationalization. Part of our strategic initiatives has been to give St. Lucia ownership of St. Lucia. And, and one of the main initiatives that we've done towards that is... Um, uh, to facilitate land ownership by two strategic initiatives. One is land developments, land that Invest in Lucia owns, have been developed and sold um, primarily, if not 100%, to St. Lucians. The other aspect of that is land development as well, but what we call land rationalization. In that case, the individual St. Lucians who have lived on lands owned by the state or by Invest in Lucia for a number of years, and the aim really is to provide um, uh, the, the, the basic infrastructure at least, and in some cases very extensive interest infrastructure, and sell those lands at reasonable rates, um, uh, way below market rates to, to St. Lucians. The minister and his team will continue to meet with key agencies under his portfolio as he charts the way forward. From the Government Information Service, Humadi Mark, reporting.